Good afternoon, everybody. We are back Friday afternoon. The market is down, but we are up. Let's see who we got first in the chat today. Pretty sure it's probably gonna be Frank, right? Frank first in the chat, Nick F second. What's going on, Nick F? Uh, Frank, Nick F, Mark, Crypto, J5, Frank, JB. Why no sleep, Frank? Frank, you gotta sleep, man. Frank, sorry I didn't engage much in your, on your evening streams. Once I get home, it's 100% daddy duties. I like it, JB. Best dad in the world, man. Frank, peak of power, Crypto Rockets here. Ooh, still throwing up. Me? to crypto rocketeer it did not get better during the afternoon it got worse during the afternoon dino good afternoon everybody what's going on to know mark crypto peak of power how are you crypto rocketeer good evening peak of power and mark very good guys let's see what we got going on over here in this beautifully terrible market we've got amc down 6.23 percent today sitting at 50 1435 not 15 we've got shiba inu coin continuing its downturn right now 2208 per share or per coin we've got gamestop sitting at 9356 right now down seven percent on the day prog is down six percent on the day sitting at a dollar 18 we've got the nasdaq down a whopping two percent it's it's just been bad all day today bad all day with no recovery we're looking to retest those lows at 12.5 here pretty soon. We're coming back down, touching the bottom end of that, those lower lows that we've been hitting there. And below that, you're looking at 12.5 support. We've got Farmy sitting at 14.55 right now, trying to bounce back a little bit into the close here. Doesn't seem to be doing it. 14.04 low on the day, 14.05 low on the day. But uh, I, I don't know. We need to get back above 20 cents per share on Farmy here. We've got Sundial sitting down 5% of the day now. Going to retest the low of the day. Sitting at 47.56. The low of the day, 47.48. Mullen Auto making a nice recovery here. Was up 25 plus percent a couple minutes ago. Now it's sitting up 16%. Seems to be selling back off into the end of the day. This could be a decent level of support that it bounces off, off here right here. So let's Let's watch what it does intraday. If you guys are interested in trading in the last 12 minutes of a Friday, you might have a little bounce here that you can gain, I don't know, capture 2% on. And then uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and CEI both down on the day as well. Red across the board, except for Mullen Auto right now. So... I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm looking forward to next week already, and this week isn't even over. Shiba Inu coin continuing to hit those purple lines. Going to be testing 21 here in a second. Always enjoy seeing you, Pika. Me too, Mark. Me too. Shayla Jones, hello to you. I'm still buying. J5, if you guys got buying power, now is the time to be buying. Click. I don't really see any support for AMC. What are your thoughts? We go into the 13s again. Yeah, JB, man. Below, uh, below this area, okay? Below this area... I, I do think, I, honestly, I think 12 is possible, right? Um, if you go out to the daily chart and we look at it, let's let's adjust this slightly. So we got a better idea of what's going on here. So if we go out to the daily chart, uh, you know, 13 is not a level of support to me. This area right in here at 1450 is the level of support. Now, 1430, where we're at right here, I don't think it's necessarily guaranteed that we've broken this level. I mean, I think it's a range, not necessarily a 1450 line in the sand. So with that being here, with the NASDAQ being down at this bottom end of the trend line, if the NASDAQ continues down to 12.5, yes, I do think that AMC can continue to the downside. But knowing we're right here, knowing the NASDAQ is around this descending trend level, if we get a bounce in the NASDAQ, I absolutely think AMC can bounce off this 1450 level and start to retest the 16s again. So I'm not necessarily pessimistic for a, a continuation of the downtrend next week. I do think we're still right at that level of support and we're not necessarily broken through it yet. So... That's what I'd be looking forward to is do we have continuation beyond this level? If we break support, man, I'm I'm comfortable saying 12. Honestly, I'm comfortable with putting another line down here. $12 a share. So that would be my next major, major area. And let's just keep it down there right now. Let's keep this lighter orange line on the chart in this $12 area just in case we we break out or yeah, break out to the downside on this support level right here. This is the next level I've got in mind. So we'll watch that, but we're not gonna worry about that today. 
That's next week, man. That's next week. We got to be optimistic about next week. Otherwise, it's not going to be good. Uh, let's see. Good afternoon, everyone. What's going on, Cassie? You need to start buying shorts. It will turn all around. It will turn around, Mark. It will turn around. It's just hard to hold and, and hard to watch it go down day after day after day. But you are absolutely right. We will reach a bottom. We will turn, and it will rise again. Hello, Sheba Army. Zachary, what's going on, man? Hey, Cassie. Pika Power. How are you, Zachary? Pika Power, Zachary, Cassie. Hey, hey, Mark. Uh, I feel like that we're going to end with a, a green candle this week. Zachary, I hope we do end with a green candle this week, man, because we've got nothing but red all day today. We need a little bit of we need a little bit of restoration here. It's getting closer to that 1250. I've been saying the whole year now. Yeah, plan a beta, man. It is definitely getting closer to that 1250 level. This 1450 where we're at right now, this range, I mean, if you go out to the daily, you, you know, you're still looking at this holding up. But I agree, dude. If we break down below that, that's what you're looking at, down in this 12 area. So we will be def we will definitely be keeping an eye on that to see if it's a possibility. But we haven't broken it yet. So I'm not going to just say that, it's, you know, it's, it's guaranteed or anything like that. I, I truly do believe that support and resistance lines are very strong. They're, they're a very good indicator of what we could be seeing. And clearly, 1450 is not giving in. Didn't give in here, 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 all the way over here, 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 too. So we could see it, it continue to hold up uh, in the near term. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Let's see. Part one from Grandpa Barney. I make the old guy cry. Thanks. Between uh, the C-word and losing mom, it's been a rough two weeks. Still feel rough, but on my way back, send my love to everyone. Man. That's gotta be a that's gotta be a treacherous two weeks, dude. Losing your mom and and being sick in bed like that all at the same time. Uh, I can't even imagine what that guy's going through right now. From Grandpa Barney, tell them thanks for the love and prayers, and I pray for all of you, Grandpa Barney, man. I don't know if you're listening right now or not, but yeah, dude is a a strong dude to be going through everything that he's going through right now because that is not easy. To be honest, I'm frustrated with AMC. New foe. To be honest, I'm frustrated with AMC too, man. I am. Frank, understand, a last mom and a brother, a lost mom and a brother last year, dang, yeah, Mark, it's definitely, eh. loss like that's never easy, man, uh, Meowlo, 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 I don't know what Meowlo is, thanks for the update, Frank, yeah, absolutely, Frank, thank you for the update for sure, man, AMC going into the close right now, we got six minutes left in the day, my goodness, Shiba Inu coin experiencing a nice sell-off here. I'm sure Bitcoin is as well. If we pull Bitcoin up, yeah, we can see that Bitcoin's trending down very, very similar to what Bit or Shiba Inu coin is doing right now. And AMC, man, also selling off into the close here. Farmy selling off into the close here. Prog selling off into the close here. GameStop selling off into the close here. NASDAQ selling off into the close here. What a Friday, man. It is, we, listen, we have got a lot to look forward to on Monday because it has to be better than today. This is an absolute nightmare of a close right now. We we have to be having a better week next week. Sends in a positive house and hugs to Grandpa Barney. Absolutely, man. Grandpa Barney deserves it all. Keep uh, keep it going forward, or keep it going forward, Frank. Stay strong, man. Stay strong. It's a sale. Mark Crypto, we got a sale going on across the board right now. AMC on sale. Shiba Inu coin on sale. GameStop on sale. Prog on sale. Sundial on sale. Molinado, probably still on sale, but at least rising throughout the, the afternoon here. Molinado did have a pretty good afternoon. After being down this morning, it, it did have a nice little rally from about, I don't know, 1 o'clock to, to 3 o'clock there. And actually got a decent candle on it right now. Going back up, 5 cents on that candle, man. Wow. What's, what volatility in this stock? That is crazy. CEI, bottoming out around 88 cents today, I believe. Yeah, 88 cents back here. On the bottom, CEI extreme, experiencing some extreme volatility as well. I know Crypto Rocketeer. I'm pretty sure Crypto Rocketeer is in CEI. But difficult day. But we made it through, guys. We made it through. And next week's going to be good. Uh, let's see. What's up, everybody? Justin Johnson, how you doing? Uh, who? Grandpa Barney. Oh, Mudblood Killer, man. I don't. Uh, Grandpa Barney's a mod in here. Grandpa Barney's been around for quite some time now. Really, really strong. And I believe the AMC and GME community. Hey, just a great guy. Great guy in general. So if you don't know Grandpa Barney, stick around. I'm sure he'll be back in the stream here pretty soon once he's starting to feel better. And, uh, 
You won't want to miss out on that. Differential between AMC and Ford share price has grew to almost $2. Ford wheel to be delayed. Dang, Frank, you know what I'm noticing that's kind of weird, man? I've noticed this, too, because I got Farmy and I, I got AMC, and I've got them right next to each other. AMC and Farmy have really been moving. If AMC's 14 bucks, Farmy's 14 cents. If AMC's 15 bucks, Farmy's 15 cents. If AMC's 20 bucks, Farmy's 20 cents. It's very weird the correlation between these two stocks right here. And I know that it's probably just similar action in following the overall market down. If AMC's down, uh, you know, 1%, Farmy's going to be down 1% because the NASDAQ's down a little bit. If the NASDAQ's up 2%, AMC and Farming might be up 2% as well. So it is very crazy to see the price differential between the two, but we were hoping AMC was going to close it. It's $17 today, and Ford was going to close a little bit below $17, right? But didn't play out that way, man. Didn't play out that way. Far, or Ford's sitting at sixteen oh eight right now. Actually, not a lot of action on the day here in Ford. Almost barcoding, man. Doesn't seem like a, a very active day today. Just a nice sell-off between everybody trying to get out. Maybe, you know what? They might be trying to get out ahead of the the inflation report next week. That might actually be what people are doing. Exiting their positions, moving out ahead of, uh, and just kind of trying to reduce the uncertainty that they're going to have going into next week's inflation report. That actually would make a little bit of sense. So hopefully we do see a... A rebound next week, at least following the Wednesday inflation report. Weird. Let's hope they moon soon. Cassie, I do hope they moon soon. Yes. I'm lost for words. I feel your pain, Grandpa Barney. Yes, Mr. Shredder. Me too, man. Me too. And I said Mr. Shredder without even thinking about it. Me too, man. Grandpa Barney's a good guy. And that's a like a double whammy that it's not easy to to do anything about, man. Especially, you know, if you're if you're worried about taking care of your mom and, and doing all that stuff and you're like Stuck in bed or not even allowed to go anywhere. That makes it really tough. Hey, Clay. Super stickers aren't working for me for some reason. Lauren. I don't know what that reason might be, but it is all right. Which one did you want to send? I give Lauren a freebie. She went the peach. She went the cat. What did Lauren want to send there? Ladies and gentlemen, respectfully, it's been a pleasure. Shredder. It has been a pleasure. Are you going somewhere? I don't know. I don't know. Lauren is in the house. Lauren is in the house, man. It's always a good day. If it, stocks what, man? Is it a red day? Who 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 knew that it was a red day today? Lauren's here. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. Yes, Shredder, don't do anything stupid, man. But I'll do something stupid just for you. JB, don't touch it. This is Lawrence. Lauren. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lauren. Absolutely appreciate the super sticker. Even though it didn't work, you can have all this free super stickers you want. I hate the stock market. I hate the stock market. I can't say it enough how, I, how much I hate the stock market. Yeah, dude, today is a really rough day. I hate the stock market today, too. I hate the stock market today, too. But Johnston Town, man, I know that... Uh, you got these rough days along with the good days. You got to make it through the bad days if you want to see the good days. And unfortunately, we have to eat these losses if we if we do want to be here for the gains. So I hate the stock market as well. But when these stocks are rolling, man, and money starts flowing back in, we're going to be saying, I love the stock market. I love the stock market. I can't tell you how much I love the stock market. Oh, let's see. I'm not doing anything stupid. I'm cool. Good deal, Shredder. Good deal. Too late. Yeah, too late for me. What's up, Clay? Your videos are great as always. Joe's Krantz. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate the positive feedback. Uh, I love it. Yeah. Lauren, anything for you. You name it, you got it. Seems like when it's uh, when it's bad, everything's bad. I've had memories pop up this week. It was the week we were uh, burglarized. My dad's best friend died. Oh, my gosh. And Grandpa died all the week. Yeah, dude. When, when Cassie's right, you know, when everything seems to... Cassie's right. When things seem to be going wrong, everything seems to be going wrong at the same time. So as long as we make it through, guys, we will see the other side. We will see the light at the end of the tunnel, and it will improve. You'd love the stock market if you're sitting on a bunch of cash. Mark, facts on that, man. Facts on that. If you got money to put in right now, the stock market is looking extremely cheap and ready to go. That's why I keep saying, man, if you guys got friends that are not invested, uh, you know, do them a favor. And let them know 
what their what their potential is right now if they do decide to invest. Because I'm gonna be honest, man, there's a there's a lot of opportunities opening up for some really good runners to happen and some really strong gains to be made. So if you got some friends who are on the edge or on the fence about investing in the first place, please let them know that we're on a we're on a very large dip right now. Uh, let's see. Stock is pure misery. AMC has given me an ulcer that has not been there's not been one right. Yeah, left wing wacko, dude. I agree. There, I mean, there's been a couple relief days, right? But nothing to really get excited about for a very long time now. And that takes its toll on people. It does. It takes its toll, especially if you've got a shorter term mentality or you want your money, you need your money, you have to get those gains now. It does take its toll on people. And even me, you know, willing to wait no matter what. It's difficult, dude, because... It's not, it's not even like we're missing out on opportunities for other plays. Like you see Mullen Auto going up today. You see the volatility in oil stocks and energy stocks right now. And they're not necessarily making huge gains in, the, in regards to the company improving and going up. These are short-term, very speculative gains that we're seeing anywhere in the market right now. So it's difficult to just watch losses across the board build up, and uh, you know that's the tough part. But once it, I, I I blame it on the market a lot. I blame it on the fact that people are nervous about what's going on with inflation and interest rates, and I truly do believe that once that kind of settles down, we're we're gonna see gains across the board, and the, you know people are gonna wish they were in the stock market. On this wonderful red day, AMC's cover call is printed a full 100% bull put spreads, exited an 80% profit. Very nice, Frank. Very nice, man. Look, it's not impossible to make money in the down market, and Frank did very well today. Uh, or if he was in it. If he wasn't in it, I don't know, but very well on those cover calls there. It's been really hard these past six months. I feel like it's going to get worse. Nufo. It could get worse before it gets better, but it will get better, man. Nufo. Thanks for your positivity during these times. Helps, bro. Absolutely. Look, look, Nufo, I'm not going to lie, dude. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, these tough times, I see them as well, right? I'm not as, I'm not sitting here excited because, like, I'm all in cash or I've got all this money to throw into the stock market right now and sweep up all these deals. Uh, I just know that it will turn, okay? It's tough when you don't see the exit. It's tough when you don't see the turn. It's tough when you don't see that split in the road in front of you, but it's there. And if you keep going forward, you will reach it. So it's that's what I say, man. It is tough on your journey. It is tough on the way there, but we will reach it. We will reach the turn, and these stocks will go up. So I'm optimistic and I'm hopeful about that. And if you got to look towards something, man, look towards that. Look for look towards the fact that it, you know it does have to turn. Best friend is sitting on a truckload. He says he's waiting on the bottom. Expected, except it's just sitting in the bank. Suggested he put it in tether at least earn eight percent. Mark crypto, yeah, dude, or or Gemini. Gemini pays eight percent as well. Um, I don't know if he feels more comfortable. Here's the thing, though. He's not going to be able to time the bottom perfectly. That's not going to happen. So let him know that if he waits until the bottom is like confirmed, he, he might be waiting for a long time, and we might be back up with the NASDAQ only down 5% from its all-time highs before he realizes it's time to get in. So I'm not saying that we're at the bottom now. By all means, I have no idea where we are in regards to the bottom, but don't let him don't let him miss out you know let him know that he she needs to be keeping a pretty good eye on it and make a determination of when he thinks he should get in now as opposed to afterwards and kicking himself after because dude if you look at like if you look at netflix and stocks like that they're down 50 percent from where they were that's a big company amazon i believe is down like 25 or 30 percent from where it was google also down not as much but there's a lot of really good stocks. NVIDIA and AMD down pretty big. There's a lot of very good stocks that are, are down right now that, dude, I mean, 
how mad is he going to be if he makes 50% or doubles his money? Uh, should I? I recall you mentioned that you're not going to, in a, a slow voice, this channel is going to be a, a negative show like others. Wise words. You're very smart and positive. I recall you mentioned that you're not going to, in a slow voice, this channel is going to be a negative show like yours <laughs> words you're very smart and positive shredda i i don't know if i read that right you you're not going to in a slow voice this channel this channel is going to be i i know i'm messing that up i know i'm messing that up shredda Bleach, you got them diamond hands, baby. I like it. Hey, is there any news about Burns or anything in Shiva's near future? Kind of just holding and forgetting about it for now. So, Lil Moon Doge. We got a lot of people very active in the Burn community. Yes. Uh, Matt Perry having a Burn party here in the next 11 days. Uh, Big Entertainment is going to be doing some more Burn parties. They got some things going on with March Madness or NFT Madness right now that they are promoting Burn activities on. So there's a lot of people who are focusing very strongly on burns. One of the best implementations of burns that we've got coming up, when, I don't know, but as soon as Shibirium is like locked in place, is going to be integrated burns within the ecosystem. Buying and selling and trading coins, I would imagine. Uh, you know, some automatic burn mechanism with Shibirium directly from the developers i think that's going to be a big move and a, uh, a move in the or step forward in the right direction so but as far as like anybody that's going to be doing a major burn no i haven't i haven't seen anything like that recently yeah dwight's exactly right man this is a this is a very good year to dollar cost average if you can what's that mean that doesn't mean that you go out there and let's say you're all, all your buying power is used up right now Dollar cost averaging basically means, and it, you guys might already be doing it, you just don't know it, but if you set aside a certain portion of your paycheck or if you set aside a certain portion of your income to be invested or reinvested in the stock market, you can dollar cost average. Maybe it's maybe you guys got an extra 100 bucks a paycheck and you know, you're know you going out there and adding 100 bucks to the market every, every two weeks when you get paid. And it's not a, a strenuous amount, just something to keep averaging down on and and staying in, man. If you stay consistent, if you stay in, you're going to bring your average on each of those, each of your stocks down. And it, things are very cheap right now. Things are very cheap compared to where they've been before. Uh, yeah, I told him he's extremely cautious. Good deal, Mark. At least you're telling him, man. And it's okay that he's extremely cautious, right? He can be extremely cautious. There's nothing wrong with a dude that is is satisfied with a couple percent return but i will be honest man you know if you're satisfied with a couple percent return i mean you should look at some of the the stable coins they, they give you about eight percent that, that's a very good return on on any stable asset for that matter so he should be looking at that even if he is very conservative and dude maybe he just puts in you know a thousand bucks two thousand bucks five thousand bucks whatever he would consider not, not not something to worry about and then realizes okay well shoot man this works i can take my money back out and keep my money in and then make his money that way so yeah, I'd, I'd keep on him and make him, making sure that he feels comfortable and, and does what he needs to do. Nouveau, that's why we're all here to support each other. Clay is the best to keeping our spirits up and confident. Done now. Thank you very... Look, it, it's all on you guys too, though. We get a great... We get an amazing group of people here that... Yes, if we get stressed, man, what do we do? We build each other up. If, we're look, if it's looking dark outside, shoot, man. Somebody parts those clouds and we can see the sunshine. If, if you can't walk, we're going to lift you up and we're going to help carry you for the meantime. I mean, we will make it through this and we will make some money, guys. Don't be worrying about that. Let's see. Peek up our Dwight, shoot, you seem so right. Coffee House Crimes is awesome. Pretty dark, but I'm here for it. Whatever that means. Playing my music on high between Clay Bro shows and day drinking and ice cream is made for a good afternoon. Cassie, day drinking that lemonade, iced tea, right? It's for the info. Appreciate everything you do. Lil Moon Doge, man. Appreciate you being in here, and thank you very much. Total profit of the week uh, netted my almost 10 extra Ford shares. Very nice, Frank. 
add to that non-dividend stock. I closed out to uh, help Ford or uh, fund the Ford wheel. It was a good week. Frank, it sounds like a great week, man. Anytime you can make some money to add an extra 10 shares, that's awesome. And uh, that is awesome. I came to the lake to get away from the market today, but I just wanted to show my support of the channel and the fellow bros at close. Nufo, enjoy the lake, man. If you want to sit back and, and keep a headphone in or something and listen to us and and uh, just keep up to uh, up to date on the things, absolutely. If not, dude, enjoy the lake, especially if you're there for, for the whole weekend or something. Uh, yeah, dude, there's more to life than just the stock market, but clearly, you know, Stay comfortable with the stock market because I'm going to tell you guys this. There's 57 of you in here right now. If you can make it through a bear market in a downturn like you're making it through right now, you can literally make it through anything in the stock market. This is not, and I, I have to emphasize this, this is not a normal pullback. This is not something that you see on a regular basis. This is this is a bear market, okay? This is a very this is a very difficult time, and you're making it through. It's you're gonna be much stronger for this. You, there's nothing that's gonna be able to take you guys down after this. Uh, let's see. Hello, everyone. I just want a free Bad Kids NFT. Very nice, Frodo. It's amazing. But the NFT projects I'm most excited about are Dojo Fish minting this Sunday and uh, GLB's in NFT minting on March 16th. Frodo, very nice, man. How'd you win the, the free Bad Kids NFT? When I popped off and your girl gave me just a little bit of lockjaw. Ooh, man. Better be careful then, Vengeance. You better be careful. That's why they totally deserve all the fast success. Nice. If you get stressed, just watch Clay Bro. Zachariah. <laughs> what, who do I watch if I get stressed, man? Come on now. Is there any chance we retrace up? Yeah, so Elaine, there's a great chance that we retrace up next week. Both AMC, Shiba, and in the overall market. So uh, let's do the NASDAQ right here. You can see that we had a red day today. And we ended right here at this descending trend line where these lower lows are being hit. You know, we're right here. We can absolutely bounce off this support level. If not, we might come down a couple more hundred points and bounce off this channel that we have here. So let's say we do bounce off. If you take a look at AMC, for example, on a daily chart, we're right there at a level of support. We can absolutely bounce off this level of support next week. Now, we have to keep in mind that we've got a, a tight level, a tight channel before we get to next to the, or before we get back to the next level of resistance. And that's going to be like up here in the 16 to 19 dollar range. Shoot. I would still love 19 bucks from this 14 dollar level that we're at right now. But yes, market, a lot of these stocks were all sitting at support levels. So we definitely could bounce off these support levels next week. Same for Shiba. Same for Shiba. Chris, we got an eight-month member in the chat. Thank you for that member chat, Chris. Hmm, can't send a super chat right now, but I'm here. Chris, that's weird because, guys, I don't know what it takes. To, like, don't actually send a super chat, but click on it and see if you can send it. Because Lauren also said that she couldn't send one. And clearly, Lauren's in a completely different country than Chris is. I want to know if it's like YouTube having a problem right now or or what's going on there because uh, it's happening to both Chris and Lauren. We'll have to see what that is. But Chris, man, thank you very much for the member chat. Appreciate you, man. Oh, my gosh. Cookie is in here? <laughs> Cookie. No joke, okay? I didn't do it because I didn't want to be like that stalker. But no joke, I'm... It was either last night or this morning. I'm almost positive it was, it was this morning. But, dude, when the days just run together, you don't even know anymore. I almost, because I was thinking about you, and I almost went out and searched your name on Twitter to see if I could find you. And I didn't do it because I didn't want to be like, oh, I'm that creepy dude that's out here with my, you know, my search history showing a, a Twitter search for Cookie. How are you? How are you? It's been a long time since you've been in here, Cookie. I'm glad you're in here. And uh, I got to tell him myself. I was thinking about that. I'm pretty sure it was this morning, but it could have been last night. Oh, man. Good to have Cookie back in here. Been working like Grandpa Barney, also the person at the lake. Uh, get get out of here because I've been laying down salty and slushy rain. Yes, man. Get out of here and enjoy the lake, new foe. No joke, man. No joke. Enjoy the lake, dude. Don't worry about the, the market today. 
Hope everyone is good. Chris, I hope you're doing good, man. Mark, same here, brother. Didn't see what Mark said. Darn it. Are you prepared to talk about she over the next 10 years like this? <laughs> Remy, yes. But also, I don't... I, I hope that I don't have to, right? I hope that there's, one, other opportunities out there. But I also hope that... Uh, it's not just all the same speculation. Will we hit a dollar? Will we hit a penny? Will we hit a dollar? Will we hit 10 cents? And so on. If I do talk about Shiba for the next 10 years, you know, I hope that there's a lot of people that learn along the way and, and new people come in and go and come and go and continue learning. If they've got questions, I want this to be the place that you ask those questions. Get your answers. You know what? Don't leave. It's not like you graduate and never come back to the channel or anything like that. But, you know, maybe you can help answer some questions for some people and things like that, too. We're here to build each other up, man. Clay, you should watch Clay, too, because he is here to make 2022 the best year ever. Shitsu Inu. Maybe I should, man. Maybe I should watch myself. I can send Super Chat. JJ can send a Super Chat. I don't know what's going on. Maybe maybe some of you, maybe you guys have iPhones versus Androids or something. Mine are working from the looks of it. Okay, so now I need to know if you guys got different phones. Nope, Clay Bro, Super Chat doesn't work. All right, Pika. It's not working for Pika, Lauren, and Chris. It is working for Frank and some others. You don't want to know my inventions? No, man, I don't want to know your search history. Don't tell me your search history. I it won't, it won't let me send it, but it hit my card. Really? AMC Trapper, that's weird, man. Tried to send it, though, but I got an error code. Very, okay, so you guys, listen, listen, guys, you don't have to go through it and mess everything up if uh, if it's not working like that. It definitely, I mean, nothing's showing up for me if you are, so don't don't worry about sending anything like that or, or getting error codes and things, but thank you guys for testing it and, and at least clicking on it to see if it works. So AMC Trapper, hopefully that didn't, shoot, man, I'll just give you guys free super chat. You guys can send a cat uh, a meow for you. I'll send a peach. I can show you the peach. Always here, Clay Gang, AMC for life. Hi, Clay. I woke up with my mom and the whole family, so I had to make... Let's just say that is true, okay? Let's just say Cookie did wake up with me on her mind, and she had to come in here. What are the chances that I was thinking about Cookie this morning, Cookie was thinking about me this morning, and then she had to come hang out in here. That's a little weird. That's a little weird. I gotta admit, okay? I gotta admit. That's look, because I'm not lying. I'm like I did. I did think about it. I didn't search her. I didn't go out on Twitter and search. But very weird, Cookie. Very weird that you'd be thinking about me and I'd be thinking about you. It's good. It's charging our cars, but not actually sending it. JB, that's the best kind. AMC Trapper. If that is the case, man, if you guys did try to send something and it didn't send, dude. I'll react to a super chat. I'll do whatever you guys need me to do. Uh, we'll make it work anyway. Hey, how's everyone doing? Janet B. I'm doing good. How you doing, Janet? If Sheba hits one cent, Clay Road Channel will blow. Dwight, if if Sheba hits one cent, yes. If Sheba hits one cent in 2022, I will start an OnlyFans. Okay, that's how. That's how big that would be we'll just we'll we'll put it that way one cent five trillion dollar valuation on shiba inu coin in 2022 it will be the best year ever uh trevor that's why i rarely use cards i get charged at nothing did it actually charge a card trapper if it did man let me know what you sent and then uh i'll dude i'll meow i'll eat a banana in front of your family i'll do whatever you need me to do man how do you think next week plays with the interest rate hike? Red all week or quick bounce after the dust settles? By the way, my super chat didn't work. I tried it like 10 times. Dang it, man. Spaniard, hopefully it didn't charge you 10 times. But look, dude, I honestly think today could have been a slight pullback because of people getting ready for the interest rate hike next week. Just getting out, same day, same way they would play an earnings report on a, on a stock. They get out so they don't have to deal with the volatility. Yes, they could be losing money if the earnings news is or if the earnings news is good, or if in this case the interest news is good, or you know they just need to take away the the volatility there. So how do I see it playing out, man? I think people are going to be a little bit skeptical going into the earnings report. Do I think we see a huge decline going into it? Not necessarily. I think we saw a lot of that decline today, but I wouldn't expect a a huge run or necessarily a huge loss until after the interest rate decision. Now, it could go both ways after. You know, Wednesday afternoon, man, the Fed could come out and say, 
we lost all control. Inflation's going to spiral out of control, and you guys should expect 20% inflation to 100% inflation. Unheard of historic numbers because of everything we did. Um, that would be bad. The market would get hit pretty hard. Excellent news would be inflation is steadying out. We are going to hit it with a 25 basis point increase throughout the rest of the year at every Fed meeting and see where we stand then. We believe we have it under control and we believe that it will die down, stagnate, and return to the 2% target inflation rate. That would be excellent news and I believe the market would rebound because of the clarity and the, the optimism. Those are the two plays, the two plays that I see happening. Uh, JJ tried to send again an error. So apparently supers are not working right now. Click. Always good to be asked, but I'm good. Ready to catch up on some sleep. Kind of wanting AMC to drop under 10 to buy shares, but a little more ready to... Yeah, Chris. At this point, I'm I'm sitting back and I'm ready. Um, I know a lot of people are looking for another dip to add on. If you guys are, great. If you guys know friends that wanted to get in, I mean, let them know, man. Let them know that this could be the time of their life to get in. I mean, even if they don't, dude, if you got a friend that is ready to get in, you know, they might not double their money right away, but if things go back to where they were, they're going to be sitting on some very nice gains, guys. Uh, I'm Frank, and I'm here to make options expiration the best Friday ever. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Yes, Frank, LFG, SHIB. Let's get, dude, I hope SHIB goes, man. I hope SHIB goes. Congrats on eight months, bro. Absolutely. Chris is the man. Should you eat a different on Twitter or something? No, you good, bro. It's probably just been... All right, cool. AMC Trapper, good deal, man. I, I don't want to make anything... I don't want to make you guys do anything that's going to get you in charge. Just go get like 20 super stickers at once. <laughs> Dude, if I get like 20 cats and 10 peaches all at once... Yeah, vengeance, that's going to be a little weird. Uh, I think it's YouTube messing up. Kept getting an error at the paying part. I'm glad everyone else is messing up because my rent is paid and I do have money for the super. So if I go down, everyone goes down. Nice, Chris. Nice. Definitely got to be YouTube then. Wouldn't that be hilarious, dude, if it, if it was just like not showing the super stickers, but they were all coming through on my end? Let me see. Yeah, that would be, that'd be nuts. It worked for Nufo earlier, though, didn't it? Didn't it work for Nufo? Just popping in real quick before the weekend to say that Chris... <laughs> Chris does not suck, man. Devil's advocate, thanks for being in here. Chris, what do you guys say about that? You freaking stupid. <laughs> You're freaking stupid, man. I like it. Devil's advocate. Thanks for swinging by, man. Hang out with us for the next half hour if you want. YouTube thinks we're a bunch of Russians. They might, actually. Dude, with the way that the way that YouTube censors stuff and the way that YouTube does not let you say certain words, yeah, dude, they might have blocked everybody. This might be bigger than YouTube. You guys might try to go buy groceries tonight. You can't even buy groceries. Hey, man, I don't know. We're living in some weird times. We're living in this might not be exclusive to YouTube. Did you guys try buying anything ten minutes ago or within the last ten minutes? If you didn't, I don't know. We might be going down. Uh, let's see. We're gonna extra side jobs. Click more cash. Guess name. You know what? That's not. Listen, if you guys got uh, side hustles or anything like that going on now, and you're gonna be pouring money back into the stock market, guess name could be on to something right there. Now is the time to hustle. If you, I don't know. If you want to add some buying power to your portfolio, now could be a great time to hustle. Think about it. If we just went back to where we were four months ago and you could stack up right now, you know, you're basically going to be doubling all of your money, tripling on some different stocks, quadrupling on others. And Shiba, for example, if Shiba just gets back to where it was, you're almost quintupling your investment. So, And that's just to return where it was. That's not hitting like you know brand new ridiculous highs either. Making 5x your money is a, a crazy investment. So now could be the time to hustle. Don't look at it as a negative time. Look at it as a time to hustle. Fr Frank, we <laughs> I got all those coming in. Yeah, Frank, that would be a little weird if they all came over at the same time. Uh, Clear bro, would you add more AEMC but hit a certain price? Also, would you sell at a certain price or would you hold the zero? JJ, that's a good question. Um, let's see. So. At this point in time, like literally no, like I, I don't, I would have to sell something to, to buy more. So I, unless I either like take money out of the bank and put it in my brokerage account or 
uh, Celest, I have like z almost zero. It's basically worthless. I don't even know if it's triple digits at this point. But very little buying power left. So if I'm going to be adding, then I'm going to need to do like Adam Aaron and find some additional capital. At what price would I do that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I wouldn't have a certain price in mind, but yes, I would be willing to add more shares of AMC. Will I sell them? This is not financial advice, okay? And this is not what I would recommend to anybody else. To you guys, yes, I would recommend uh, you know, selling your shares at some point if you no longer believe in the play or, or so on. Will I sell my shares at a certain price? No. But I will sell my shares if a couple things do happen. If the the apes or the movement or whatever continues to deteriorate and people are just pitted against each other and it becomes like so toxic that nobody even cares about a short squeeze anymore. All they care about doing is art or all they care about doing is arguing and, and DD and whatever. And the shorts are like if we enter more dilution and the short interest goes from 20 to 18 to 15, to 12, to 10%, and things like that, yes, I will exit my AMC position because the short squeeze to me is not there. But at this point in time, you know, what we're seeing, if the if, if people are still committed to the short squeeze, if the short interest is still in the 20% range, if even if the stock price goes back down to a dollar, I would not sell. Yes, I would try to add like crazy at those points, but I would not sell. My sells are not going to depend on a dollar amount. What I am holding at AMC, I am comfortable holding literally to a, a penny, right? Like that that part doesn't matter. The part that matters to me is the short interest and the short squeeze numbers. I, I made a decision a long time ago that I was not going to sell the stock based on the price. I was going to sell the stock based on the, the short squeeze numbers, man. I'm in front of you guys every day talking about a short squeeze. I'm committed to seeing a short squeeze and I know that could work out well or that could work out bad. I don't want it to work out bad. I do want it to work out well, but I'm willing to take that risk. So that's what you guys have to be comfortable with too is if you're looking for an exit, be comfortable knowing that it's either a price point for you, it's a, it's a short interest point, it's it's something, but you guys have to be comfortable with that. Uh, since you're generous, unreal, it really is. Uh, I'll hold your hand, bro. Mine, dude, hold your hand too. Devil's advocate, nice, Clay. At what price would you double down? Dang, dude, AMC Trapper. That's that is a tough one too because if I was if I was sitting on a bunch of dry powder or whatever you guys call it, you know, I don't know, I. It would depend on market conditions too. So if we hit 12 bucks, if we fall through this 1450 and we hit 12 bucks, but Russia's still doing what Russia's doing, people are still worried about inflation and things like that, I wouldn't double down yet. I wouldn't double down just because it hit that number. It would depend on more than just those numbers. Uh, so I don't know if I could honestly give you a, a specific price at which I would double down because... I do feel like five. I feel like if it ever hit five again, that would be almost a, a bare minimum. Because the only time that we've been below five is, you know, prior to any mention of a short squeeze. So I highly doubt that we would see numbers below that area. So I would be fairly confident there if you're looking strictly at numbers. But I think it would be, it, it would be dependent on more than more than just the numbers. Libra, I lost my buying power. My catalytic converter got stolen from my truck. <laughs> uh, that is not what I said, JJ. But if that's what you're saying, that's not good, dude. That's not good. So if I go about right now, A. Collins, I honestly think that stocks across the board are good buys right now. I don't know if they're going to go lower, cause th so they could be better buys. But I do think that literally across the board, man, you're seeing great buys. I believe people like Clay reviewed RT Montre, got together and got everyone to be like, a bay. let's get serious and get this st stuff started. Fo is focused on something AMC would. You know what, Chris? I agree to some extent 
with that, okay? But here's what I see, man. And and I don't know I don't know why people love to divide things, but you've got you've got so many people on Twitter, and Reddit, and YouTube, and Twitter hates YouTube, and Reddit hates YouTube, and YouTube doesn't really mind about Twitter and Reddit. Like they don't really mind. I don't like them because these people seem to really hate people that are on YouTube, but it's crazy. And here's one thing that I recognize too, and this kind of makes me a little bit sad, but I'm also glad that I don't get pulled into the drama. But I've seen several posts on Twitter lately where people are like, uh, you know, Trey asks something about something or some random person will be like, uh, I, I searched AMC Squeeze on YouTube the other day and it was all trash. You know, is there anybody good left to watch? Dude, my name never gets brought up in any conversations about anything to do with YouTube. So I honestly don't even know if people people consider that I talk about AMC anymore. I really don't know if they do. Have you guys seen anybody mention my name anywhere when it comes to AMC? Like, I don't think they associate me with AMC anymore. He's like, hey, today's AMC, or like, today's Eminem a little too political. Yeah, Matt Kors does like the politics a little bit. But look, man. When Matt Coors was when Matt Coors was rolling, I think Matt Coors. Honestly, I might agree with Matt Coors a little bit more than some of these other guys on a lot of the stuff that he would say during his live streams. I too agree though that, and this is that, that might be something that he likes, dude. Politics sometimes, man, they just make my blood boil both ways, and there's really no gaining. There's really no gaining about surrounding yourself with such touchy topics that people can't even have a conversation about it either so yes he does like the politics clearly the same thing the few amc shares that move to four to establish the establish will will be replenished as soon as i'm clear of wash rule very good and and then what did he say darn it darn it darn it darn it i'm still playing the long games more aggressively nice frank slim shady era let's get it man that's the era we need to be in. Cleaning out my claws is the only m M&M I know. I liked, it, I liked that a billion years ago. It's not too long. Please stand up. Please stand up. So Adam Aaron tweet, AMC is now officially accepting Shiba and Doge this week. This is going to boost a conquest. It, seemingly, it did not do anything, man. It seemingly, it did not do anything. Just watched gaming. Wa- yeah, Ronald, a lot of people have said that's good, man. I've not seen that. Uh, let's see where we're at. I can kick Mac with <laughs> Mitch, I mean, maybe you can probably kick my butt too, man. But I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and try to fight any of you guys yet. Yet, maybe one day. Uh, Rand Paul was connected to some crypto scam. He may be in some hot water because he gained around two million dollars from it. Dude, crypto scams are seemingly pretty easy. You think we should throw a scam together and maybe we should scam some of these GameStop boys and bring all the money over to AMC? Nah, fam. Literally no one mentioned you. I know, man. Ever. One time someone mentioned a bull, dude, and I got excited. Turns out... <laughs> dude, I don't know if you're messing with me right now or not, but I can see that happening. Jerk. <laughs> Somebody mentions that bald dude. If I go like this, you know, I might look like I'm balding a little bit. If I if I keep my hair or I keep my head at the top of the screen, you guys only see like the, the hairline there, but no, I'm not the bald dude. Lou would be the bald guy. Ape Father, Ape Father, listen, Ape Father's a funny guy, though. I know Ape Father likes to go on his rants and stuff, but I do like the Ape Father. Never seen Matt Coors? Who knows? Maybe I like his stuff. Yeah, Pika. Pika, I don't know if you'll like his stuff now or not. I, I did like, uh, I do feel like he talks a lot about politics now, which I don't like to surround myself with because there is just so much negativity regardless like from both sides and and dude who needs any more negativity in their lives we got enough negativity in our lives right now uh but no man when he's talking about his trades and like chasing and things like that uh i I don't think it's necessarily a bad idea to chase like uh, there are occasions where i would be okay with buying a stock that's hitting an all-time high but other than that man i i didn't mind listening to him not super exciting but i mean I, i didn't really have a problem with this uh, investment knowledge. Hey, bro, want to mud wrestle? 
AMZ Trapper. My house or your house, man? Yeah, hey, come over here. Come over here. Nah, we'll go there. It's gotta be. It's way too cold here. It's like, it's like thirty degrees, dude. We'll go Georgia. Mud wrestle. Yes, AMC Trapper. I'm on my way. Guys, I'll be at AMC Trapper's house this weekend. I'm mud wrestling. Let's do it. Not dog and Matt, but his recent titles are uh, peeing me off and more than his thumbnails. This is making you mad. A trigger warning. Like that's putter. Like what? Like that's putter in putter the viewer, putting the viewer in a negative view before watching. Yeah, that's true, man. But I don't know if that helps engagement at all when you, when like somebody scrolls by it and they're like, "Ooh, I want." Because I honestly feel like people want to get triggered these days on the internet. They want. They're just like going around looking for problems, looking for people to argue with, looking for reasons to get upset. So I actually don't know if that's like a strategy of his. <laughs> Dude, his thumbnails are funny though, right? <laughs> Oh, his thumbnails are... His, I don't know where he came up with the idea to just put his face on everything, but his thumbnails do get you. Uh, anyone who starts here likely won't enjoy other streamers as much because they're in their spaces. You're likely not a part of the conversation, and if you are, it's because you paid a B. Well, yeah, but they seemingly have a lot of people in their chats, too, so it does become a little bit more difficult, but... Dude, that's the only reason I really like doing these live streams, though, too, is because... It's one thing to interact in the comment section of videos. It's one thing to just uh, interact on social media. But what is that? I mean, there's, there's, it's, it's definitely not the same. So I do want these live streams, man, to be as interactive as possible. I like Lou. He's a funny guy. My mom's family is New York, Jersey area, and have the same kind of humor. <laughs> Dude, Lou's, Lou's crazy, man. Lou's crazy. I will say, like, if, look, if I have to find something nice to say about people, I think a loose humor is a little crude for, for myself, right? And I do believe his language is just a little bit too much. So it's not somebody that I would be hanging out with Lou, you know, at all, or anything like that. But regardless, man, whether the dude's got bad intentions, whether the dude's got good intentions, you have to see that Lou can, like, entertain and sway a crowd, man. Lou has some sort of a factor that people are drawn to. I mean, that part is just undeniable. I mean, I'm not drawn to it because it's just, it's not my style, but yeah, there's no there's no denying that. Like, I say that all day. Sabs open and bet lube. Someone says wrestling. Yes, we are definitely going to be wrestling this weekend, Devil's Advocate. Down in Georgia, though, because it's way too cold here. Nobody wants to wrestle when it's snowing. I like Maddie's Difference. My favorite. Oh, man. I like Maddie's Difference. Oh, but I don't watch him. Clay, of course, is my favorite. If you guys haven't figured that out yet, yes, Danell. I love it. You're my favorite too, then. I'm glad you're in here. See those titles? It's just maybe skip over them. Chris, you're you're I don't think you're a person that likes to get triggered. I don't like to get triggered either. Like I I'm not gonna lie, guys. Sometimes if I'm on Twitter just scrolling around, I gotta say, forget this, man. Turn the phone off. I just end up wanting to be like friends with nobody and think everybody's just crazy and uh just forget that, man. I'm gonna go watch some parks and recreation or Watch some new girl right now and laugh for a while because you guys are nuts. Stopped watching Matt a while back. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. Click, you're a much better streamer. He probably a way, and uh, probably a way. Nah, I don't know if I'm a way better human being or not, man. I, I don't know Matt personally or anything like that. I do think that there is a certain level of, uh, I don't know, character that could make you a a, I don't know, better interacting or technically a better streamer or somebody who can field questions or something a little bit better. And I don't know. I didn't. Sp I never spent enough time to actually see him answering a ton of questions or going back and forth with with people or, or things like that. I did see him answering, you know, Super Chats, obviously. And that's where I can honestly say that I do think Matt is knowledgeable on the market. Like, he knows some stuff about trading and investing and so on. But, uh... I don't know. Same deal, though. Like, Short the Vix, TMI, Matt, I think these are all knowledgeable guys, but I don't think that they're... I don't think their setup is as interactive as the setup is here, though. Like, I think theirs is more focused. I'm just gonna, like, look at the screen, say what I think about it, and then let the people in the chat go back and forth and drop their emojis and, and talk with each other. So I, I think it's a slightly different setup. Edwin still doesn't squeeze the habit. I just don't talk about, don't talk about, or don't want to talk about politics either. Let's impeach this guy and bring in someone who supports the retail traders and squeeze. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. I'll bring in anybody that wants to squeeze that. I want to squeeze to happen. And you guys might not like this. You might like it. I don't know. 
I want to squeeze to happen before I want to see AMC's fundamentals clean and clear. Okay? I do. I would rather see Adam Aaron go out there and sell his remaining shares for $3,000 a piece and fix his own company during a squeeze and walk away with $3 billion and all of us go in there and, and make our money during the squeeze and clear things up that way than us going out and chipping in and chipping away at AMC Entertainment's debt. Let this squeeze happen, and he can decide when he sells his shares for 3000 bucks a piece to what he wants to do with those. There's a million shares that he's going to have. Uh, personally, I decide Lou knows he's spending either, spending either crap or not as accurate as it should be for AMC, or if he doesn't know that he's just in it for the sponsor, he doesn't attention... I do think Lou is very good, and this could just be like a, a stereotype about people from New York too. But I do think that Lou's very good at talking, right? I I don't know if not necessarily know if it's like a fast talker or uh, or just a New Yorker type of personality or what. But I do think that Lou is is very good at talking, right? And he could spin some stuff. I could probably try to spin some stuff too. I think there's a difference there, but yeah, Chris, I agree. I don't know the guy's intentions, but I do think he's he's good at what he does, right? In his defense, I used to watch him before he got big, back when he had a, a real job, and the vibe was much closer to this one, and just people in his chat with 5,000 people messing at the time. It was just hard to chat with 5,000. You're talking about Matt, right? You're talking about Matt? Yeah, dude, Matt really, you know, blew up or got huge. Um, with C It would be so tough. To have 70,000 plus people in your live stream because you go on Fox News and then all of these people who don't know anything about a short squeeze all of a sudden see you on Fox News talking about a short squeeze and the potential that AMC has. They come in out of nowhere. Your chat's just so spammed at that point that you can't really do anything other than answer super chats and so on. And uh, it, it would be tough. It would be tough like that. And I know there would be people in here, like if that ever happened and we had 70,000 people show up in the stream, it would be tough to, to stomach the fact that it's not as like close-knit. We got people spamming and, and all this crazy stuff. But I just want you guys to know that if anything like that ever did happen, let's say, I don't know, it was for Sheba or something at this point, since nobody knows I talk about AMC anymore, that you know I will try my best. I will absolutely try my best. Uh, Tuesday night's a result of the poll. I get, pulled the guitar off the wall. And we had a party. I love it. Everybody in the Viper Pit. Nice, Frank. Nice. I get one bar of service. Hopefully, this stream will be stream easy soon. Conquest. You only got one bar of service. Hopefully, this will stream easy. We'll be here another 15 minutes. I don't know what you're talking about, though. Uh, I demand you click the like button. Pretty, please. And I also demand you click the like button. Danelle, thank you for reminding people to click the like button because we've only got 44 likes in here and 76 people, guys. Don't forget to click the like button, please. Yes, Clay, but you got all the women facts. Well, I don't know about that, guys. I, I, I try my best to click on other people's streams and see what they got going on in there. But, shoot, man, I'm telling you, we got Cookie, we got Lauren, we got Danelle, we got Pika, we got, yeah. Shredder, you ain't lying, man. I was really considering making you my bat girl. <laughs> I don't I I know I miss some of these these conversations sometimes and I wish I could catch every single one of them because you guys say some crazy stuff. I have a serious question. Is Course living in a Vegas hotel room? Mitch, I actually have no idea. I, I do know that his background has changed a little bit. Kind of like my background. I'm not living in a giant purple crib right now, but you know, I am upstairs instead of downstairs. I, I do not I do not know uh, Cores' living arrangements. During the ship AMA, Clipper had over 1,000 viewers, while Matt only had about a few hundred. Was Matt doing the, the Shiba AMA? Was Matt streaming the Shiba? Ask me anything. I didn't know if he... I don't know if he was. I hit the like button every time. It's the right thing to do. Mark, it is the right thing to do, man. Look, even if you guys don't like it, as long as you don't dis... As long as you don't dislike it, just click the like button, man. It, it's it's literally the same thing as you writing a comment card to somebody's manager and saying, this guy does good work. You should check him out. It's YouTube really likes it when you click the like button. 
Never get in the chat to agree on politics, so we don't even talk about it. Yeah, that is good. Nobody is ever going to agree, right? And I don't even know if it's going to be 50-50 across the board here. I think we can all agree to disagree when it comes to those touchy topics. And the, the beautiful part about politics is as much as I think you're wrong about something and as much as you think I'm wrong about something, at least we are allowed to be wrong, right? If I disagree with you, guess what, man? You're allowed to be wrong. If you disagree with me, guess what? I'm allowed to be wrong too. And you're, we're still friends at the end of the day. We're still friends at the end of the day. That's the crazy thing. These other people make it so you can't be friends at the end of the day if you disagree with them. And I think that's tough. I think that's tough. I don't think that's the right way to go about it. I think you are allowed to have your opinion on things. I'm allowed to think you're wrong. You're allowed to think I'm wrong. And we're allowed to move on. I'd be willing to bet in finance space it's 80-20. Possibly. Devil's Advocate, possibly. I don't know. Like, I say 50-50. I don't know about that. Click it every, like every time. Frodo, thank you very much. In a way, Claire, bro, you are a living in a giant... <laughs> in a way, yes, Mark. In a way, I am living in a giant crib. I click Clay's like button and it's wonderful. Frodo, it is literally the best thing that I have ever seen you do. Literally, thank you every time that you click the like button. All stocks and cryptos have been falling drastically since November. Is anyone making money these days? I'm just watching my balance bleed. So fantasy, if you're in the crypto space, if you're in the stock space, very difficult to make money going long on these on these positions. Yes, there are people making money if they're implementing either short strategies or you know option strategies to play the market to the downside or sideways. Um, no, there's very few positions that I'm long on right now that I don't actually know if there's any positions that I'm long on right now that I was long on in at the end of last year that I am up on. So, no. Just a lot of people that are long only are not making money right now. Man, who never heard of her? Aussie, yes, you have. Come on now. You're sitting too close to your screen. You were mentioned... Uh, you're sitting too close. To, oh, where did it go? You're sitting too close to your screen. You were mentioned on national. You find Yahoo Finance News. You got all the ladies crushing on you. You got you got people to better knowledge with themselves. The list goes on like a broken record. Shred up. Boom. I do probably cl sit too close to the screen, but it's all right, man. It's all right. I got I got to read the chat, so I got to I got to sit closer to the screen than you would think. It's difficult to read the little chat sometimes. I had to learn the hard way on why we don't talk about religion or politics, but still argue that fact, because if we don't talk, then we won't learn how to be... Yeah, no, Chris, like, I agree, but it's very, very difficult to do that with respect on the internet, right? I think you guys could agree with that part. The internet gives you some sort of, uh, like, a, you know, that mask confidence where you're, you're on the internet, you can literally say whatever you want. It, have some tougher conversations in person with people that you actually do respect. I think that that's going to be m much better than any internet conversation you're going to have, even if it's with people you do respect, be behind the, the curtain of the screen. Uh, let's see. Check your balance every once in a while instead of every day. Fantasy filters, yeah, that will help. Dwight's right on that, man. Um, I don't even know the last time I... It had, I think it was this week sometime. But, yeah, I don't make it a habit of checking my actual portfolio balance. Clearly, I look at these stocks all day long and see what they're doing. But it's tough, man. It's tough if you're constantly checking your balance and seeing that. But I know AMC's down today. I know she was down today. I know GameStop's down today. I know Prog's down today. I know Farmy's down today. Everything's down today. So it's... What am I going to check, man? I know it's going to be down today. Forbidden topics when trying to make friends. Religion, politics, and Bruno. What is Bruno? I don't even know what Bruno is, man. I mean, every time I see people die, break. Oh, you look, yeah, yeah, Cassie. There's going to be certain things that people don't like, and then there's going to be certain things that people do like. But either way, we don't have to, uh, we, we don't have to, like, hate each other and not be friends. Clearly, keep it as respectful as possible, right? But don't hate somebody. Because I'll say it, right? I'll say it. There's people in here that do not like the current president. There's people in here that didn't like the previous president. And we know that. 
But guys, why? I mean, what do we? We know we don't agree on everything. We're still good. Clay needs glasses. Shih Tzu Inu. I I don't think I need glasses, man. The the chat just needs to be bigger. And it's behind, like it's right in between a microphone and right in between the camera here. It's difficult to see. Uh, we don't talk about. Oh yeah, we don't talk about Bruno. Bruno, no, no. What? What is? I don't even know what's going on. We don't talk about Bruno. Bruno, no, no. <laughs> I don't even know what this is, but we don't talk about Bruno. So how am I supposed to know what Bruno is? Devil's Advocate is right. Besides, Devil's Advocate is something. Oh, I wasn't trying to start a giant conversation, but that's how it works. Cause I have to go now. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris, for you know knocking the first bookshelf over and watching the domino effect take place. Now, and you take off to go have a good weekend and play Crash Bandicoot and enjoy yourself. And the rest of us are going to sit here for the next nine minutes talking about things. There's three categories. A blue, no matter who. A red or a dead in the middle, in the middle group. There's three categories. Yes. I mean, yeah, vengeance. That is, that is right, man. That is right. But I... Is as wrong as we think the other guy is. I mean, is just let him be wrong. I mean, let him be wrong. We don't have to get mad and hate him for being wrong. Uh, my kids have been singing that song. Bruno, no, 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 no. Trevor, the Antonio is here. The only one saying to get my Disney joke. Dang it, dude. Now I don't even know what. What Disney movie, man? I don't even know what we're talking about. Ahem, <laughs> Mon. Yes, dude. Mon did very well this afternoon. Mon bouncing nicely in late afternoon trade and continuing to move higher in after hours trade. Mon currently sitting at $1.40 per share. <sighs> Gosh. 26% gain on the day and a 3% gain after hours. Mon did very well today. Ahem, <laughs> yes, it did. We've got, guys, AMC sitting down 0.21% after hours right now. Farmy is sitting down 0.42% after hours. Shiba down 1.68%. GameStop up 0.33%. Prog up 1.27% after hours after a pretty steep decline of the day. And things just, okay, Farmy bouncing back up a little bit, 1442 now. Volatility in after hours trade. So, Sundial sitting up 0.20% after hours. Bed Bath & Beyond up. Mullen Auto up. And CEI down a little after hours. Next week's going to be a good week. Next week has to be better than today. It has to, man. Today was a bad day. Next week's going to be better. They can be wrong. It's not at my expense. Yes, they're, let them be wrong, man. They, and you don't have to tell them that... Uh, you, you don't have to be the one to save them. Darn you, Chris. Darn you. Pika Power. What did Pika Power say? If you had kids, you would know about Bruno. I don't know about Bruno. I gotta ask Google about Bruno later. Don't forget Crash. Play Pokemon. Forget Crash. Play Pokemon Legends or Kiss. Whatever that is. Peak of Power. Chris, I think Peak of Power wants to play Pokemon Legends with you. The Trapper. Uh, I'll get back to work. We'll get back to work. Yeah, let's do it. Congress is the largest tax-funded welfare program in America. Fire them all and give them term limits. I do think term limits are, would be a good thing. Yes, I, I do think that. And uh, I think they make a lot of money to argue, too. I think they make a lot of money to argue. Get a bolt. Uh, I truly hope all you apes have the best weekend ever. Shih Tzu Inu. I hope you have the best weekend ever. No, I really, guys, get some rest this weekend. Recoup because, you know, after this week that we had and after today's losses, don't worry about the stock market this weekend. Try not to stress about it. Dude, watch a movie tonight. Play some video games. Go out. Go to a restaurant. Whatever you guys want to do to just hang out and chill a little bit. Get your mind off the get your mind off the money and money off the mind. Come back refresh next week because one of two things are going to happen. Next week is either going to be a good week and you want to come in ready to go with a positive attitude and watch that bad boy rise. Or you're gonna be, you're gonna need to be refreshed next week because it's gonna be a, just a mimic of this week, and you're gonna need your your energy to get through it again. So please refresh over the weekend and don't stress over the weekend. Used to live near Napa. Everyone knew my name. Well, now everyone knows your name in here, Mark. I'm seeing Batman for the fourth time tonight. I don't need rest. I need justice. Are you really seeing it for the fourth time? Uh, my dude for the state I live in has had his seat for more years than my age and is running. Oh my gosh. See, I didn't even realize that it's that bad sometimes watching Kanto. I should watch in Kanto because I've not seen that. 
Oh gosh, love Napa. Flew in a hot air balloon on my Infinity 29th birthday. <laughs> Julia is, Julia is only 29. Julia is never aging beyond 29. Play some Diablo 2 tonight. Play some Warcraft. Play some Diablo 2, whatever you guys want to play. Plug in your PlayStation 3s and hit up your Black Ops. Like, do whatever you guys got to do. Love a chill and chat this evening. Yeah, man, chill out with Frank and chat with Frank this evening. You play some guitar, whatever you guys got to do over there, too. I love it, man. I love it. Mustard's my favorite restaurant in Napa. That sounds like a condiment and not a mu and not a restaurant. Uh, let's see. I had to give her a, a virtual spank. <laughs> I don't know what these guys are talking about, man. I don't know. I'm, I know I missed something. You say I'm play. You judgmental beast. I get free tickets. My bro is managing the theater. That's amazing. That's amazing. Dude, I wish my brother was a manager in a movie theater. Oh, my gosh. Brother wasting his life working some stupid career. Go be a manager in a movie theater. Do you get free popcorn too? Devil's advocate, do you get free popcorn? Like, what does he do with the popcorn that gets popped and they don't sell? Please tell me you get free popcorn as well. If you are, I am moving in with you guys. And we're going to go to the movies on the weekends and get free popcorn. Tell me. Now I need to know. Today's my boyfriend's birthday. My other boyfriend's birthday is next week. Mitch! Get too many boyfriends. Don't do that. Drink lemonade or drink iced tea. Uh, and never made it to mustard. It's jealous. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Gloomhaven. <laughs> JB, Gloomhaven might stress me out, man. It sounds like a really long game. If Gloomhaven was a shorter game, yes, all weekend long. But Gloomhaven seems like a really, really, really long game. They keep the theater open after it officially closed, and we watch a big movies before they're actually out. And yes, we raid all the snacks, and they don't inventory. I love it, man. I love it. Devil's Advocate. You can't raid that many snacks, though. But it would be difficult. I don't know if I could stay up to like 2 a.m. watching a movie, because I you got to go in there at like 2 a.m. to watch that movie then, right? If they're keeping the theater open after it's actually open. It's a really late viewing. How dare you, my blood killer? I don't even know what my blood killer said. Deleted. Boom. Good morning. Good morning, Outdoor Smile. Glad to have you in here, man. My son manages a Cinemark. Ronald, you get free tickets. What the heck, man? You guys are all getting free tickets to go to these movies without me. Jeez. Hello, Outdoor. Hello, Outdoor. Outdoor is a little bit confused on what time of day it is, but we are glad that Outdoor Smile is in here. Outdoor Smile, glad to have you, man. But it is evening right now. I wish my brother was manager at a bra. <laughs> oh, gosh. Millamamas. There's no such thing. My blood, you yeah, pure-blooded, righteous. Whoa! How dare you make such a horrid name? I don't even know what that means, man. What is mud? Mudblood's a bad name. That, is that actually a bad name? I don't even know. Is that like a black? Is, is, is that a bad name? I didn't even know it. Uh... Dang, man, I don't even know what happened, if they said something or what. Yes, and movie posters. Dang it, Ronald, you guys getting all the goods. We have a great, we have a wonderful weekend. Donnell! Look, Donnell, can I touch it? Ow, no. That, that lava lamp gets a lot hotter than the other lava lamp. I love this lava lamp, though. You guys can see it? Nice. Donnell, thank you for the lava lamp. It's a Harry Potter reference for someone with non-magical parents. It means they have dirty blood. Ooh, gotcha. That is why I had no idea what mud blood was, man. Thanks, Danelle. You too. Yes, for real. Uh, all right, we're back. The only place I have hung out in after closing is the VFW. When I did it a bartender, movie theater would be much nicer. <laughs> movie theater would be awesome, Cassie. That's got to be so late, though. I don't know how you guys stay up so late. You too. Typo. Gotcha. Type T-O-O. -O. Yes. Do I shoot for real? I just thought it was broken. It didn't go through. Talking about super chats or something else? <laughs> yeah, it's out there. Smile. They are broke, man. Nobody's been able to send one. I don't know if you got the error too. It's been errors all day. Uh, I just I hope they don't go through like in in now when we're off stream, and then you guys are good on that part. If they do, I'll save them all for next time. If they don't, 
good. But guys, it's five o'clock back next week. It is going to be better next week. Refresh this weekend. Enjoy it. Get your names in the chat right now. We'll get some shout outs going on here in a second. We will have videos in two hours and in three hours, 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure to check those out. Even if you don't want to watch them, click the like button, let them play, share them, whatever you guys got to do. I want to say thank you for everybody that supports the channel. Pringleton, member for seven months. Man, we got that rainbow ape. Want to wish all of you a wonderful weekend. Much love. Love. Pringleton, you too. Thank you very much for being in here. I know it's late over there in the UK. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for the member chat. And I hope that you too have a wonderful weekend. Let's get these shout outs going and we will be back. Clay, I was put on timeout. What did I do wrong? Pika, probably nothing. I have no idea why you're put on timeout. It doesn't make any sense to me. Or who did it? I have no idea. I didn't see it happen. Very sorry about that. I didn't see you do anything. But Pika, shout out to you. Pringleton, Frodo, Vengeance, JB, Julia Gulia, AMC Trapper. Mark Crypto, J5, Frodo, see you later, man. See you on Monday. Uh, Spider Claude, uh, Crypto Rocketeer. Boom, baby, dead on him like always. Enjoy your weekend, Crypto Rocketeer. Ronald, Pika Power, Just Dior. See you later. AMC Trapper saying peace out to the Diamond Handed Apes. Frank, enjoy your uh, enjoy your weekend, man. If you guys want to go hang out with Frank, I'm pretty sure Frank's going live. Mark, Julia Gulia, Frank, uh, Shredda, Danelle. Uh, congrats on the seven months. Absolutely, Danelle. Julia Gulia, Pika Power. I'm sorry if I didn't say No, no, no. I highly, uh, Pika, I highly doubt you did anything like that. AMC Trapper, let's see. Is he did virtual spank? <laughs> okay, yeah, that, getting the virtual spanking from uh, Vengeance there. Mellow Mamas, Pringleton, Andrew, Julia. Gulia, man, I hope that each and every one of you have a great weekend. Ju uh, guest name, Pika Power. Oh, no, he's, oh my gosh. All right, before we get too weird with the virtual spankings and all that good stuff, you guys know what time it is, so if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Till the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.